This is Screening Away Part 1. Um, if you like this, you should definitely check out the game footage in Part 2 of how it works when it's done properly. And you should check out um, Part 3 where we look at what happens when it's not run. But Screening Away is really, really, really basic um, offensive off-ball strategy. Um, it's not so useful against zone, it can be, but it's really man-to-man um, -man offense. This is something you see at all levels. You see it in the NBA. You see it um, in middle, you know, middle school JV, which is where, what I coach, and you can run it in pick uh, pick up as well, which you're going to see for me in part two. So all levels of basketball, we'll get that so you know across. This is NBA players are doing this. They're screening away. It's really, 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 really basic. Uh, NBA players often call it pin downs, actually. So um, that's another terminology. But basically, the idea is. In basketball, if I have the ball in my hand and I have an open shot and the defender is running out to me, this is a good situation to be in, right? Because I can either shoot it or I can go by my man who's running at me. We call this a closeout situation. And as a perimeter player, all we want to do is create, out, create closeout situations. Um, and as a shooting guard, it's often the ball's not in my hand. I'm, often I'm in triple threat, right? It's fine if, uh, triple threats is a really dangerous spot to be in, but you want to create a closeout situation. Um, the idea is kind of, uh, we look at opportunity cost. Any time that my man is right up in me, is taking away from a time where I'm open and a man's closing out to me, right? Why don't we have a closeout situation every single time? Well, we can do that, right? And that makes basketball very, very, very easy. Um, it makes it very easy. It doesn't look hard. It no longer looks hard. You're not forcing stuff. So basically, generally the way to do that is from screen aways. Um, if I move towards the ball, I bring a double team and my man is guarding me. If I move away from the ball, I move the de defense away and the defense is literally running to the new spot and they're impeded by me. So my teammate gets the ball for a guy running out. That's what a screen away is. So the video is going to show why that is all useful, uh, part two. Part three is going to show what happens when you don't do it. But what this video is really about is how to get teammates to do this for you and how to do this for teammates. Because it's easy to say, this is a good offense to run, here's how it works. But it's, as a coach, it's much harder to get players to actually do it. There's, you've got to be the coach on the floor and make this happen. So you're going to see how it works in the videos. In the video, um, you know, a lot of players will do this and call the name, I, I do this, like if I'm moving away from the ball, I say like, Chris, 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 move the ball, or Andrew, 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 move, move the ball, or screen me, screen me, screen me, but that's a little bit harder, right, those are the hand motions, so like, you'll play with players who will just not screen away, they will just go to the ball at any level, there are NBA players who do this, they just chase the ball, there's pickup players who do this, but as the coach on the floor, you need to break this habit from them. And the way you do it is you need to be prepared to set them a lot of screens to start off, right? Um, in the first start of the game or first time playing with them, over time they will learn because they're going to be getting very open. You're going to be setting them screens and they're going to be getting the ball open. At some point, they're going to have to set screening you back. If they don't get this, you need to talk to them and say, and you can do this mid-game, you say, yo, I'm rotting here in the corner, uh, all I'm doing is setting you screens, you gotta get me open, you have to screen me, right, or, you know, you need to know their name, you need to call their name and say, set me one, set me one, you have to set me one, right, you have to do that, that can be hard to do. Um, another thing you can do is, if they just will not set you a screen, you will have them back screen, you'll set a back screen for them, so that they go to the basket, because usually that draws a, a slight double team, so you, you can get the ball open on the perimeter. So that's usually how it goes. But, I mean, the thing is, like, seeing if there's anything key that I'll, I'm leaving out of this video. The thing is, you really need to be vocal. You need to be the guy setting the screens. If people aren't setting you screens back, you need to talk to them over time. They'll learn over time. Um, but... I mean, it can be an issue to start off because you'll find that you're never touching the ball. 
because you're constantly moving away from the ball, and if everyone around you is moving towards the ball, you will literally rot in the corner as no one comes to set you the ball. You're in the corner, ball's on the point, there's a guy in between you on the wing who's just looking at the ball, and his back is to you, and you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do there? That's where you need to know his name and scream it, or come to him and tap him on the shoulder and say, move, right? You have to do this, so you need to be prepared to be the asshole or be perceived as the asshole. Otherwise, the offense isn't going to run. It's not going to be fun to play basketball. So, I think that's everything as far as how to call for it and what to do in various situations. Whether Whatever kind of team you're on. It could be an NBA team. could be a, a pickup basketball. It's really easy offense to run, and you just have to be the vocal coach, and you can do it for sure. Um, and it'll make basketball really easy for you, and it'll make basketball really easy for your teammates. If you want to see how it actually works out in games, check out part two. Um, I'll put a box up or something so you can click on it. Um, check out part three also. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Maybe I'll make it tonight, but that's how it absolutely doesn't work if you don't run it. So that's uh, screening away. Screen away, guys. Move away from the ball.